Hey everybody, Jason here again with the GDT Basics video question line. And today's topic is dimensions identified for inspection. Today's question that was submitted is I had a part manufactured to the incorrect tolerance recently, and the rebuttal from the machinist was that I used an inspection dimension that is purely for quality control, and it's not a deriving dimension. Is this correct? The short answer is no. Uh, and I'm going to pull up a drawing here that I've taken the liberty of creating that was based around the student's uh, image that they submitted. So here we can see the symbol that they were referring to. And this sort of oval that you can put around a dimension using most software is generally accepted as the uh, quality control symbol or, hey, inspector, inspect this dimension symbol. Uh, although it's not backed up by any ISO or ASME standards as a formal inspection annotation or symbol, it really is just a generally accepted uh, annotation that a lot of designers like to put on their drawings to quickly relay to the quality department which features are really actually key features. Now, that doesn't mean that just because a uh, size isn't identified as a quality or critical feature doesn't mean it can be out of tolerance. Every specification and every tolerance on a drawing has to be met when that part is manufactured. Now, we don't actually have to inspect all dimensions as inspectors. We're only required to inspect the dimensions that are identified on a quality control plan. And that often matches the dimensions identified on a drawing as either critical dimensions, dimensions to be inspected like we see here, or any other annotation that the designer chooses to utilize. But again, designers, be careful. None of these ways as identifying critical or inspection features on a drawing are actually backed up by the standards. So for the question that we see here, this dimension right here is a tolerance dimension. Even though it doesn't have a tolerance in the field of view, 0 0.500 is all we see. We don't have a tolerance. We really only just have a nominal. But since it's an unspecified dimension, we get to go to the unspecified tolerance block in our title block. I'm taking the liberty of blowing that part up here so we can see that three decimal places for this drawing get a plus or minus five thousandths tolerance. So that would be the equivalent of just showing this directly on the drawing. We can see 0.5 plus or minus five thousandths. The designer just decided to leave that tolerance off that dimension because they can utilize the title block. So this clearly is a dimension that has a tolerance and it needs to be manufactured to meet that tolerance. But it also is being identified, again, roughly to industry accepted standards that this is a dimension that needs to be inspected as well. And so we want to include that in the inspection report. Now, even if that annotation were left off, we would see here that we would still inspect this feature. So including the symbol or not including the symbol doesn't change if it needs to be inspected or certainly doesn't change if it needs to meet tolerance or not. So regardless of the annotation around this dimension or how it's toleranced, we need to manufacture it so it meets the specifications that the designer put on the drawing. Now, there's a couple things additionally to this that we need to discuss. We can't have dimensions that overdefine a feature. So in other words, if we have this dimension dimensioning from this top surface to this bottom surface, and we have this dimension from the bottom surface to this stepped surface here, and then additionally, we have another one from that top surface to this stepped surface, we have overdefined that because we're defining too many dimensions and their tolerances for these three features. One of these dimensions would have to go. So this is not a correct tolerancing method for designers. One way we could get around this would be to change one of those dimensions and their tolerances to a reference dimension. Now, these reference dimensions are for manufacturing only, and that's a good point. Most dimensions, whether they're reference dimensions, basic dimensions, or tolerance dimensions, they're all for manufacturing. They are all there to give information to the manufacturing department as to how to manufacture that. However, this dimension and its tolerance, as well as this dimension and its tolerance, must be manufactured to meet specifications. In other words, this surface should be with respect to this surface to this dimension and tolerance, as this surface and this surface should be as well. But we can't define from this surface to this surface without overdefining our drawing, so we can include a reference dimension if that's a useful piece of information for manufacturing to know. We could certainly leave this reference dimension off and the math could be done to understand it as well. Now, reference dimensions are unique in the fact that they will also never be inspected. They don't need to be inspected. There's no tolerance to them, so they can't be accepted or rejected. Now, one thing I'm gonna throw on top of this conversation is the conversation around basic dimensions. 
Basic dimensions are the dimensions we see that are in boxes like this. These box dimensions, or basic dimensions, support geometric dimensioning and tolerancing, or GD&T for short. And GD&T includes all of these symbols. There's 14 of them, and they identify geometric tolerances that control the features that the basic dimensions are defining. And so we can see that we have a basic dimension defining the location of this top surface with respect to this bottom surface. And this bottom surface is identified as a datum feature, which establishes a datum, or an origin for our measurements. Now we can inspect this top surface, but it's going to be with respect to the tolerance applied to that. And since we don't have a tolerance applied in the view itself, we get to utilize the unspecified tolerances. In other words, all surfaces, unless otherwise specified, get a profile tolerance of 30 thousandths with respect to A, B, and C. For this top surface here, we are controlling the location and orientation. In other words, parallelism with respect to datum A, B, and C. Now, B and C, for this example, are just along for the ride. They don't get to accomplish any sort of control for that top surface since datum A controls everything we need to know about this top surface. It's the origin for our measurement, and we're making sure things are parallel and located centered at half an inch. So while we don't inspect basic dimensions and we don't balloon them, we certainly utilize them to know where this surface should be and we have a tolerance that tells us where from its perfect location it can be. So in other words, we get a 0.5 plus or minus 15 thousandths since our tolerance zone for profile of a surface in this situation is 30 thousandths. So hopefully this sheds some light on the conversation around what dimensions need to be inspected and which ones are for manufacturing. The short answer is everything on a drawing is for manufacturing and the identified features or tolerances that are for inspection have that unique oval around it, but that doesn't mean that it's only for quality. We also need to make sure those dimensions meet their specifications from a manufacturing standpoint. And in fact, even if we don't inspect those dimensions, everything needs to be within tolerance. So thanks for submitting your question and have a great day. Our goal is to be your best source for gd &T information online. It's important to us that everyone involved in engineering and manufacturing have the chance to learn and better understand gd &T on your prints. We have many free resources to help you get started on your learning journey. Subscribe to our gd &T community using the link in the description below or visit our website. Test your knowledge with our gd &T and print reading quizzes. Download helpful charts and access articles